When people are very fond of a teacher, more especially when that teacher is speaking within a field that there are very few people who they can relate to, that teacher becomes admired. This is not a problem. And quite frankly, it's considerably natural. Some students, however, get caught up in mimicking their instructor as opposed to following the directives that have been given to them. Having said that, here's my question. What is a panic pretender? As far as teachers are concerned, there are quite a few characters within the occult scene. More specifically, in terms of black folks in general, there are a few trends that everybody goes through. The one we all know, you start out somewhat Afrocentric. Generally, if you find your way to Bobby Hemet and his vast array of lectures, you will eventually come around to listening to Brother Panic as well, both of whom I would consider somewhat exceptional teachers, although it really depends on who you ask. Bobby and Panic, however, they are not the issue of this segment. The issue are those who listen to them and instead of doing what they are told, get caught up in copying. Not even copying, really. They become a caricature of their teachers, which although is usually easier to do than admit to yourself that you may not get as much as you would like to think, it's ultimately incorrect. This is the archetype of a panic pretender. This archetype has quite consistent tropes for substantiating their ideology. They will take to the grave the idea of fake it until you make it, and most of them only get as far as faking it and have no concept of making it, aside from pretending to be Brother Panic. They will refer to themselves as titans and chaos beings, which may not be inaccurate, but they quite often have no further details as to what that means or how that works. And it ends up amounting to simply another version of spooky superhuman. Anything that is dark and feminine is their go-to. In fact, you will only ever hear them speak about the masculine if they have first made it subject to the feminine. Which in all honesty, isn't the masculine. That is the archetype of the child. Even though Brother Panic himself will go through various stories, talking about running through a bunch of dumb bitches in his youth. Panic pretenders will hold the yoni in highest esteem and claim that it has somehow been suppressed and love to say things like womb man. In all honesty, the feminine hasn't been suppressed. A far worse thing was done to it. It was ignored. They tend to believe in things like flat earth and will happily push these ideas to anyone who will listen. Yet, when challenged about these concepts, they will insist that they do not debate and that debating is beneath them. Even though they swear they are scientists in some respect, when in fact, they are only scientists by name, i.e. the name they call themselves. Their explanation for almost anything will most certainly be the subconscious mind. Even though the subconscious mind isn't actually a psychological concept, it's a neurological concept and isn't applicable beyond the flesh. More often than not, if you get on the wrong side of one of these panic pretenders, they will quickly lash out at you with as many curse words as they can muster, claim to be themselves dangerous and powerful, then call you a hotep even if you never say hotep at all. This archetype of failure falls short for a few reasons. Aside from the obvious error of attempting to mimic your teacher, they fail to do what was told of them. They get caught up in repeating to Christians the things that their teacher has said, as opposed to actually challenging their own understanding of the things that are coming out of their mouths or the ideas that they claim to believe. Not only this, their aversion to any sort of a back and forth where they could potentially be wrong means that the conversation never progresses and they just end up reaffirming their own bullshit, which is what they were upset about Christians for doing. And because the conversation fails to move forward, it develops no integrity and it amounts to simple blind faith 
with a new dress on it. I'll end here by saying this. Knowledge can endure the stress of critique and a back and forth. Blind faith cannot.